I share an office with this wild animal. Her name is Pepper and she's just great. This morning, when I was giving her a scratch, I was checking out this collar. This gave me an idea. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these cool little charming wave textures that you can use for bodies of water. Or if you give it a different color, you know, mountain ranges or plains or something. Here we are in ArcGIS Pro looking at Sydney Harbor. And here is a water layer that I've got. Let's open up the symbology panel. I don't need the stroke outline. We're just gonna play with this fill. And instead of a solid fill, I'm gonna make it a hatched fill. Hatched just gives it a bunch of stripes like this. And I'm gonna change the angle from 45 degrees, which is diagonal, to zero degrees, which is fully horizontal, laying flat like water. The first trick is to make these lines very thick. In this case, I'm gonna go 20 points thick. And for the separation distance between these lines, I just have to set it to something equal or less than the line thickness. If I make it more than the line thickness, I'll have gaps, which is a problem. So I'm gonna make it one point less than my line thickness. And you might not know this, but you aren't stuck with a regular line for these hatches. I can expand this drop list and choose format line symbol. And now I can do all kinds of shenanigans. I'm gonna change this to a gradient stroke. And for the colors of this gradient, I'll choose something watery. The lowest color I want to be dark and shadowy. And the higher color, you know, light. And we'll see what we get. Looks a lot like Pepper's collar, actually. But like Pepper's collar, the lines are straight. I want to make them wavy. So in the structure tab, I'm going to add an effect called wave. It's pretty subtle, but it doesn't have to be. Back in the layers tab, I can change the properties of this wave. The wave period, or length, I'm going to set to be quite long. We'll see what we get. All right, something wavy. Let's boost these wave heights. The higher the wave height, you know, the higher the wave height. You can make the water look as choppy as you want. I tend to like a wave height that's about one quarter the wavelength. Seems kind of nice and flowy. And that, my friends, is the gist of it. But I want to make it look a little bit sparkly. So I'll go into the Structure tab, duplicate this, and then back in the Layers, I'm going to make this a regular solid stroke. And I'll give it a lighter color and bring it way back down in thickness to like two and just put this anywhere. So now we get a little bit more texture and interest, but I want to put it to the very top. So I'm going to add an effect to this simple layer called move. And then back in my layers, I can tweak the parameters of this move effect. I'll set the X to nothing and the Y, I'm going to bump it up. So it floats kind of right around the top of my wave. It's kind of interesting but not very sparkly. I'm gonna change this to white stroke. Looks fun. I'm gonna go back here and choose a dashed effect. The dash effect is just an on off and it looks a little bit like it's stitched. If we make it dotted, it's got this cute illustrative effect. I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner and when I look at this, maybe I can make this semi-transparent. I'll go into the color properties and I'll set this to like half transparent. Now it's a little bit more subtle, but I want it to have a little glowy shimmer effect. So I'll go into the structure, duplicate this dashed line, and I just make it thicker and even more transparent. And you get this stacking up effect. I'll do it again. If two works, maybe three will too. I'll make it even thicker, even more transparent. And the result has a cute little sort of storybook effect. I like it so much, actually, I'm gonna save it to a style, my favorites style. So I can use it in other maps and other layers later. Let's make an alternative version of this, one where the waves are offset from each other, like they're staggered, so two rows of waves. I'll get rid of my shimmer, goodbye shimmer. And now I'll go into the structure and get rid of those guys and duplicate my original big thick gradient wave. Now I'm gonna add an effect. Once again, the move effect. And I'll move it about half of its thickness. So 10 points and 10 points. And that offsets it just enough to give kind of two rows of offset waves, which is fun and interesting. Can't hurt to add this to a style too. And it actually looks pretty cool with imagery too. We can even give our wave texture a blend mode so it bakes that sense of movement into the underlying imagery. 
It's a fun option. Something worth trying. Let's see what the other one looks like. Sparkly. I like them both. Well, I hope you give this water texture a try. It's fun. It's easy. You can put your own spin on it. Use your own colors. Use different blend modes. Have fun.